What is going on, my friends? Welcome to the Appalachian Mountains, specifically the Appalachian Trail. I'm literally standing on the trail right now. It comes down this road and then hooks around here and goes down a path that way. I'm not hiking the whole thing. I'm just hiking a segment of it because this segment follows a stream that I want to fish. So it should be a really fun adventure. But before we get started, basically do more fan mail unboxings and not wait so long, not wait six months to do it because you guys do spend a lot of time and money to put these together. Somebody spent $11.55 on this box to send it to me. In fact, it's from Glenn from Lakeland, Florida. And uh, so he put together the, the time we had to put together this box and I just don't, um, just been late about uh, opening these. I don't want to be anymore. I will uh, try to be more faithful about opening the fan mail. And, uh, oh wow, this is a, this is a good box. Wow, this is, there's a lot of cool stuff in here. Wow, very neatly packaged. A Booyah Pad Crasher Frog. Excellent, you know, I need another frog because the one I have, the, uh, the tail is actually bad on it. That is perfect, perfect timing. Now we have here Sassy Q Sweet Rub pork, chicken, beef, or seafood. Very nice, might use some of this today. Sassy Q Island Rub. Two different flavors of Sassy Q. Never heard of Sassy Q before. Maybe it's a Florida thing. Ah, this is a Florida thing for sure. Uh, crab and shrimp boil. You know what, this might be per perfect for today because I've got crawdads I might be catching here in this creek if it has them. Sleeper gill snagless swim bait. That is cool. I've never heard of a sleeper gill swim bait. Cool. I've got two stuff for fishing in Florida or any kind of place where there are a lot of, um, uh, you know, a lot of mats and grass. Hot sauce. Habanero. Say, is that sechi? Is that how you say that? Sechi? Made with avocado oil. Sweet. Thank you so much, Glenn. Oh, and a letter here. Let me look at this. Sometimes these are confidential. Sometimes uh, people say kind of more private things in here. Thank you so much, Glenn. I appreciate the, all the story and everything in there. For you guys, here's a couple interesting things about it. Glenn was in the military around the same time as my dad in Beirut, Lebanon in 1983. Likes the trout and crawfish videos especially, and that's what we're about to do today. Hopefully catch some. Thank you, Glenn, for, the, for all the stuff and the letter. Glad I opened that. And this one, it does not have a name, but I think it's from Fix This or Fix It. Fix It or Fix This is the name on my membership page. Yes, this is it. Okay. So they're going to send these to me. These are some sh special shirts. Hello, how are y'all doing? Good, good. Check this out. So, I can't remember if it's Fix It or Fix This. One of those two. Look at these custom t shirts. They had made. Thank you so much. Look, it says Ace and videos on the sleeve. A great looking striper there. And then for my dad, look, on the sleeve it says Me Ancient on it. And a large, those are super, super cool. Appreciate that. Thank you so much. Now, here's the thing I love these and I will wear them for sure. I love the, the material on them but when i'm fishing these small trout streams i don't want to wear anything too bright usually because it just kind of gives you away and that's why i have like black on sometimes i wear the camo but you know like the black you just blend in anything green and so i'm not going to wear these today but thank you so much now let's uh let's go on a little hike see what we can find i've actually never fished here before um i've just seen this spot once so uh yeah. see what we can find <laughs>
this looks good. Oh, this, this is so much fun, guys. This is so much fun. I love fishing in the mountains. Try to cast way. That was pretty good. Right behind our rock there. Oh, you know what I'm doing? I'm doing something wrong here, ladies and gentlemen. I'm throwing one of my tubes, my trout tubes, and I'm not even using Dry Creek Outfitters Trophy Bass Gel Scent, which is one of the best scents in the world. And you will get so many more bites when you use this. And when you check out the Ace Videos Tube Tackle Box, in the description, you'll see this scent right beside it. Trout and bass and, and even crawdads love it. You know, it's made up of ground up crawfish. So, <laughs> oh, guys, check it out. Okay, this is important right here. Look what's crawling in the water. A black and yellow bee. I have a lure that's black and yellow that I'll show you all in a bit. And this is one of the reasons why trout love the black and yellow pattern so much. I don't know why this guy's in the water, but we're crawling on a stick. Starting to get a little rainy out here, but that's all right. It's kind of a day of scattered thunderstorms, so. Whoa, look at this, three of them. Three flying around me. Wow, if that's not good fortune, I don't know what is. You know, my friends, I think I'm doing this wrong. I'm doing the typical bad first move. I'm fishing too close to the start of the trail, too close to the parking lot. What I need to do is hike a little ways and then fish the stream. Normally the easier a spot is to get to, the worse the fishing is because everybody stops there to fish first. This is kind of cool, walking through these. It's like a split, split in the rocks. I feel like an elf or an orc or something should jump out at me any second. All right, so we come to a decision here. That way is the main trail, but I hear a waterfall this way and I have never been down this way. So you guys hear that, the rushing water? Let's see what's down here. Look at this. This is almost like a swimming hole here. Look at this. Cool. There are little waterfalls up there. Waterfalls here. Just work, work my way around here. Never fished here in my life, folks. Oh, there's a trout right there. There's a trout. I just saw a really nice trout down there. I, I spooked a trout or something. I spooked a fish, let's put it that way. You know what, ladies and gentlemen? I'm not too proud sometimes. My tubes just don't perform as well as they should. So I'm gonna get out some live bait here. If I can find some. Oh, look at that. Big old worm just appeared. Ah, look at that night, nice night crawler there. So take my tube off and do I put the whole worm or just a part all right let's see if the night crawler will get that fish because there's definitely a nice one down there that fish is looking at it boy the fish is skittish even of the night crawler I took the sinker completely off I just have a weightless night crawler if this doesn't get him this fish ain't biting I'm gonna... boy this fish has bested me that is a tricky, tricky fish right there. That's a smart fish. Makes me want to catch them all the more. Look at this, guys. Look at this. This looks excellent. This looks so trouty. <laughs> all right, using the worm. Here we go. Oh, that was a nice one. Oh, that one, he came up. And when I was about to pull it out of the water and nailed it. Got him. Got him. Whoa, look, he's all the way in the waterfall already. Look at that. Whoa. Oh, look at this. Oh. Yes. Whoa, look at that. Come here. Yes. First rainbow of the day. That is what I'm talking about. 
and a nice keeper too that's a solid fish for a stream like this like a 13 inch or so yes switch to the worm i'm not too proud people have been catching fish on bait since the dawn of man no shame in it lures are the thing that's new look at that gorgeous mountain rainbow trout and that is going to be so delicioso we knock him out <laughs> look at that i know everybody has their favorite things but uh fishing at a new spot like this beautiful creek in the mountains this is what i love wow oh look at that look at that again there's a wasp that is why black and yellow is so good there's just a wasp walking around those wasps also go down to the river to drink and they land on the surface and all and the trout grab them then guys check it out I was just scanning around there's trash here unfortunately well oh, look somebody left the collapsible frying pan and it looks like they had a good fire going Somebody else did a catch and cook right here. Or maybe they brought food with him. Huh. Well, I got a free frying pan out of the deal. All right, my friends, had a little bit of a hard time finding a worm, another worm. So I'm actually gonna go back to my two box. I'm gonna try a color. By the way, Ace Video's two box, five of my favorite colors, link in the description. And it comes with jig heads. It's amazing and it's a great way to support my channel and I guarantee you will catch more fish with this. It's very convenient. We put them all, packed them all in a small box on purpose. I'm switching this crawfish color though. This little mocha color is simply called crawfish. The color can matter a lot to these fish. Got him. On the tube, I switched colors. Oh, it's another good one. Another big creek trout and it's a rainbow boom that is lunch or dinner actually it's gonna be dinner i'm gonna skip well i haven't really i rarely miss a meal i usually bring snacks with me but anyway this is dinner here folks that little simple crawfish color that is so cool love it double rainbows all right i got two trout in the box and I am curious what's down here further. All of this looks phenomenal. Really, this is this is a magical place around here. Do I have one? I think I might have one. Yeah, I do. Another trout. That, that was fast. It happened so fast I was I was admiring the scenery. Another one. I think he had it since I first cast in because he swallowed it. <laughs> oh man, I was going to only eat two, but I'm actually going to eat three because this guy, whoa, has it way down in there. Wow, that bait, that hook is so far down in there, it's like in his gut. He was convinced that this little tube was real. Well, there we go, three trout. I am gonna see what kind of crawdad action there is in here. Let's clean one of these fish. Perfect. Look at that glob of guts and gills.
You know what I'm going to do? I'm actually going to adjust it. I'm going to put that there. Then I'm going to put a rock on top of it. So they can't so easily carry it away. I'm gonna do something here guys. I'm gonna double team the crawdad things. There are a lot of crawfish in here. I've got that piece of bait down there that I'm keeping an eye on. But I'm also gonna put a piece on my fishing line. There we go. Throw this down there. All right, I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna drop it in a spot where I can see it real good. I'll be able to see if the crawdads are uh, taken off with it. Oh my goodness like less than two minutes and already the, the bait's gone under a rock well that crawdad he is absolutely booking with it oh and it's a nice size one too oh it's a big one he found it in no oh, there he goes wait 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 don't go anywhere big crawfish don't go anywhere look at that look the bait's right there yes grab it there it is there okay he's got it again he's got it I gotta be quick here. Lift! I got him! That is a big honking crawfish right there. Look at that, folks. That is a beast of a crawdad. No, look, he, he's still. Oh, it's a tug of war. It's a tug of war. There we go. Oh, yeah! Yes, that's a good eating crawdad. Guys, one crawdad is just sticking out here. I think he smelled the trout in the bag. I'm gonna see if I can grab him. Yes, gotcha. Whew. Gotcha. I didn't, he was about to pinch me, so I just grabbed him. Another solid eating crawdad. He's about to make his escape. And when I grabbed him, I could feel the pincher, so I just whipped him up onto the bank. Nice. Check this out, guys. There's a crawdad trying to eat the trout through the net. 
You see that? Oh. <laughs> oh, I got him. Pinned him. Yes. Another one. And a good eaten one as well. That's seven. What a catch. What a catch. I haven't even explored a fraction of this creek and I've already pulled out all this. It is dinner time, folks. And I am going to get my cooking stuff. Oh, speaking of cooking stuff, got a free frying pan here. I'm going to get my cooking stuff and let's uh, find a good spot. these look at these big mushrooms huh. don't know what those are don't eat any mushroom you don't know what it is this area has been cleared away for some reason they use it for something I'm guessing or just so many people have come here that uh, it's all kind of worn down this is a pretty spot though. it is a beautiful day to be out here I love coming out here on overcast days um, kind of drizzly days like this. You know what? I think I'm going to sit right here. I'm going to lay my little hiker's towel out like so. So I can sit down. Don't have to sit down directly in the dirt. I've got these things here and I have an idea with this crab and shrimp boil. A lot of times when you're hiking around, you need ways to be more efficient. And I'm thinking boiled trout in crab and shrimp boil might be really tasty. First thing I'll do is add some water. Check this out, guys. So I was rooting around for the matches in there and I came across this. This is a Bill's Brew coffee uh, from one of my dad's MREs. I'm going to make some coffee first thing. What the? What in the heck fire? What? How did... That... No. That was just a second. I mean, that was the first match. I have no idea what happened there. A little boil up fast, that's for sure. You know, I wonder. I wonder if this was accidentally turned on a little bit. Like, maybe since I've been sitting here, you know, three or four minutes, and like a bunch of, like, maybe just turned on a little bit. I didn't even notice it. And so a bunch of fuel was leaking out all over the place. Because it you can't see it. It just suspends in the air. And there's no wind out right now. So if it was just kind of gathering around here. And that's why I lit the match. It just, <laughs> just, whew, a little dangerous cooking with me. <laughs> Bill's Brew Coffee. It's a solid coffee. And all the military guys drink it. Just one little serving in there. You take some hot water and just pour it right in. And have a spoon here when you do uh, cooks guys out in the wild after a while you get better and better at them at first they seem like chaos when you don't know like what the process is but um, after a while when you get your like your own personal cook backpack set up it's all very efficient and very fun makes it a lot more enjoyable I'm excited to try this a new crab boil here trying it on the crawfish um, wait, I better read the instructions real quick. Don't do as I do, children. Um, <laughs> they have no uh, proportions. I think probably because everybody just decides how much they want in there. That's how much I will put. Oh, that's boiling real nice. A real nice catch there. Look at him. He's, he's bringing a trout with him. Dude, let the trout go. There. And look at this nice. This is uh he doesn't have the biggest claws, but the body. He is this is a bit one of the biggest bodies of the day, <laughs> so to speak. Hey, let go, bro. It's like a it's like a suspenseful action movie. Uh 
There we go. How's everybody doing in there? Woo! It's hot. Crawdads coming out hot. Yes. Uh, I'm excited. It smells... Oh, man. That smells like an island flavor. Like, if I was at a seafood restaurant on the coast, that's what this smells like. Gonna grab a little plate here. I'm going to show y'all a trick, too, that I just learned a subscriber, in fact, a member from my Subscribestar page, I'll link to my Subscribestar page in the description, they sent me a video of how to clean a crawdad, or a, a different trick for when you're cleaning crawdads. Um, hold on a second. I had seven, and there are only six, right? Or am I... Another one escaped. I don't know how they're doing this. Like the dive bag seals shut. I keep having crawdads get out of me. I have to stop this. This is ridiculous. This is like the third time this year, the fourth time overall. I've got here some old rags that I carry with me. They're actually um, cut up old t-shirts. So I can just throw them away. When I'm done using them. Grab out the uh, smallest trout here. And then uh, score them a few times. Just drop them right in the boiling water. Boiled fish. P people in a lot of cultures boil their fish. And uh, so it's not like I'm doing something new. But as far as if this tastes delicious, I could just uh, boil my trout with the crawdads in the same crawdad boil. And that might be a really fun, fun thing to do from here on out. Oh, he lost his head. Make some fish head soup. Yeah, it's not going to take him long to cook. I think it's done already. I mean, just a few minutes. I think if I wait any longer, well, I want it to absorb some flavor, but if I wait too long, then it's gonna fall to pieces. Yeah, that looks done. Yeah, it's starting to fall apart. Boy, that doesn't take long. That t <laughs> that's way faster than like cooking them in butter, that's for sure. All right, before I cook the other trout, before I decide what way I wanna cook them, I'm gonna sample this. It's like prayer. I think it's extra important after a blessed day like this maybe you get to join, come out and enjoy creation all right trout boiled shrimp and crab that's pretty good the only thing i'd say is since it did cook so quickly there's not a lot of flavor in it i wish there was more flavor maybe maybe wait just turn the heat off and cook the trout in the residual heat that's the key like low and slow. Try a crawdad here. Oh, oh, I was going to show you guys. Here's what a subscriber told me. All right, so you have the crawdad. In fact, let me start all over. The biggest crawdad, okay? You're going to take it, like usual. Do that if you like sucking the head. It's definitely a flavor burst. A lot of crazy stuff in there. Um, but you have the tail here, right? Okay, now there are five little spinners on the back you grab the middle one and adjust the middle one just hear that There is some noise. I don't know what it was. There's some animal though. I don't know if the microphone picked that up. Definitely heard some. I don't know what it was. Could have been a, a badger. There's definitely an animal noise came from that direction. You know, it's one of those things where there are there. There's lots going on out here. We're in the middle of the woods, so I have the gun right by me. I will just continue. All right. So you grab the middle one, give it a little twist, oh, I can feel it breaking, and then you pinch down hard, and you pull. It worked. That's the first time I've ever done it. Look, the whole vein came out. You guys see that? Whole vein of the crawdad. Now, I personally have always just eaten the vein, and I haven't cared about it, but if it grosses you out to uh, eat crawfish poo, then 
Nice little chunk. Mmm. That shrimp and crab boil is delicious. It's not spicy. For some reason, the way it looked, how red it was, I thought it would be spicy, but it's not. That is really good. Appreciate it, Glenn. And it was Seth. Seth who showed me the crawdad trick. Again, you splay them out, grab the middle one, and just, uh, oh, that one didn't work. Well, it worked the first time, but you get the idea. All right, so sh I'll show you all this. So the, the heat is turned way down here. Let's we'll take this trout, cook him low and slow. You know, that's one thing I've never mentioned on my channel before, and that is that when you are cooking in the wild, remember you're giving off a lot of scent, so be aware. And don't go anywhere without a gun, because if you come upon a bear, you're going to want a bear gun. And there's the finished trout. And you know what we're going to do, guys? I will try a quick bite, but I just have this feeling that I should move on. Um... It's no, nothing urgent. I haven't heard for sure a bear or anything, but I just have this feeling I should, should bad moose. Like I said, there's nothing. I haven't seen anything. Nothing around the corner. Nothing like that, but getting the feeling. I should go. So, I'm going to. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Hopefully.